John Lady yields back. Professor, uh, does the First Amendment protect false speech? Yes. Yeah, you can say of stupid. You're allowed to say stupid things, right? Yeah, I mean, we've heard stupid things said right. today. Democrat, Democrats, <laughs> Democrats said the inflation... Like, wait, nobody got infected till the, till the Delta variant came. Yeah, it's like, I mean, uh, he's, he's got an absolute right to say that. Is, yeah. is, but it, in it, this it, case, yeah. they were trying to censor things that were actually accurate and true. Exactly. Towards and, the end of, of pro promote, uh, preventing vaccine hesitancy, they were censoring true speech. True speech, which is even scary. So that is complete scary. disinformation. We are doing something we know not to be accurate. We're going we're gonna to take that, that. That is disinformation from our government, from the highest office in our government, and the executive branch of presidency. That's the scary part. And as you rightly pointed out when you were, uh, uh, your, your response to Mr. Fry, there are real world consequences. Kids didn't go to school. People didn't go to, Americans weren't allowed to go to church in certain times. Maybe uh, didn't go to school, didn't go to work, didn't go to, didn't go to church. It's the, the implications were huge. And it, again, the First Amendment protects false speech, but in this case, it was accurate speech, and they were going after that. Now, there are some things that were, you know, okay, that's probably not accurate. They're t okay, but that's not what happened here totally. Right. And that's the scary part. I mean, people, there were people who didn't get vaccinated because the government told them if they wore a mask, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't get infected. There were, I mean, it's like just a parade Dr. of these things to change people's behavior. We asked Dr. Fauci in a deposition, where did the six foot social distancing uh, concept come <laughs> from? And he said, uh, he, he couldn't tell us. I mean, the smartest men in the world couldn't tell us where the six feet social distancing thing came from. Go figure, right? Um, Mr. Flaherty, is the White House still asking for content to be taken down? Um, Congressman, I, I haven't worked at the White House in quite some time, so I, I can't speak to um, their current practices. Are you talking with social media now? Um, Congressman, in, in my current role, I, I have a, a sort of wide set of responsibilities, and, and so... Is that a yes or a no? Congressman, I... I my beyond current... the scope of the hearing and the agreement that was reached between the White House and this committee. Excuse me? Yeah, it's 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 my time, uh, Mr. Flaherty. The, the question is, are you currently talking with social media companies? Uh, uh, Congressman, this again, I... outside of the scope of this hearing. This was an agreement by his attorneys and your staff that okay. you would not be discussing the campaign. Okay, I'll go back to the other subject then. All right. Um, well, I'll I'll leave it there. I want to thank our witnesses for 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 coming. Uh, uh, Mr. Zeleman, we appreciate Professor, Ms. Flaherty, Mr. Slapp, we, we appreciate y'all uh, being here today um, and just, I guess, underscore the, the First Amendment, five liberties in the First Amendment, your right to practice your faith, your right to assemble, your right to petition the government, free press, free speech, are the most important liberties we have. And the Biden White House was clearly trying to censor the most important of those five. The most important of those five is the last one. Your right to speak, your right to talk, because if you can't speak and you can't talk, you can't practice your faith, you can't share your faith, you can't petition your government, and you don't have a free press. And that's what they were going after. And this is not, a, what, what was the statements earlier? The, the, I forget what they said. Uh, the, the cost of this, First Amendment doesn't have a price tag on it. I would argue it's the most important thing we have. Uh, what distinguishes Western culture from authoritarian cultures, and we need to respect that, and that's what we're doing. So uh, with that, I would, uh, uh, we'll, we'll adjourn the hearing. We thank again our witnesses for being here.